Hey, it's Max. It's taken eight months, but I finally did it. The LEGO College. Before I start, I would like to point out that once again I have not actually built this, and these are all renders made using Studio. I've had plans to build a comment for years now, but I've never had the tools or expertise to realise the idea. That was until I finished my Extrapolis, which had proven to me that I could design mocks like it, so I decided to give it a go. When I designed my Extrapolis, I started with the central carriage and followed it up with the cab. And since that worked so well, and I was designing something of a similar size and complexity, I decided to do the same with the comment. I started out by outlining the dimensions to a 1 to 44 scale and throwing together a rough draft of the sides, once again making what could be mistaken for a Siemens at a glance. I used these windows because of the curve they have at the ends, which I liked because they almost look like the curved windows on the real thing. I went with the Met livery at first because of a number of reasons, mainly that I didn't know how I would be able to recreate the triangular shapes of the PTV livery, and for some reason I thought in my head that it would be better to design the corresponding cab, one of three main designs. Progress was slow because I worked on it infrequently, and I wasn't happy with a few things including the curve near the base that I had come up with, as well as the adjoining corrugated details and the design of the doors. In the space of about 5 months all I had done was come up with a bulky design that didn't even look that good, and I knew that things needed to change. Then, about a month ago at the time of recording, just after leaving my house to rest, I started to get back into the comment by slowly modifying and experimenting with new ways to create the curve that were both light and strong. Eventually I sat down with the intention of working on it properly, and threw away just about all of my previous design choices to start over. I quickly came up with another rough draft of the sides, this time in full PTV livery. In order to successfully implement the livery and keep the same windows, I had to make some executive decisions to disregard the scale just a little bit due to the nature of the pieces I was working with, but just between you and me my extrapolis is slightly too short and slightly too wide as well so I didn't really mind. Once I had the livery I just went from there. Comparatively quickly I managed to come up with a much smoother curve than before, although I did come back later to tweak it slightly, and also came up with the curved design for the roof. The chassis is my first big odd width build, being 9 studs wide, which from the people I've talked to is apparently meant to be better or something, but after messing around with it for way too long, I think I'll stick with even builds for now. Halfway through designing the gangway, I noticed that the height to width proportions were off, and after a quick remeasure, it turns out I'd made it too tall. I feel like I'm repeating myself a bit here. After removing a layer of grill pieces, I continued with the gangway, which took a lot of trial and error and I'm still not happy with it, but the same as what seems like everything these days, I deemed it good enough for now. I went for this older gangway design before it had the concertina fitted, because it's more iconic, much easier to make, and I don't need a second carriage to connect it to if I ever build it. The upper part of the carriage ends took just as much fiddling, trying to cram in the windows with the angled sides while still having everything connected soundly. Upon completing the carriage ends, I moved over to the section I dreaded most, the cab. I managed to conquer my fears and smash out the whole thing in one afternoon, much, much quicker than I thought it would take. I went with an older design of the EDI cab because 1. I can't be bothered with the stripes on the current livery, 2. The Alstom cab with its gentle curve is probably impossible to make, let alone make look good, and 3. The EDI cab looks way better anyway and you cannot tell me otherwise. Compared to my Extrapolis cab, it's like a duplo set with small parts, but it gets the job done relatively effectively, even if it isn't as 3D as the real thing. Comment 2.0, now in 3D. At this point, I found a blueprint of early Comment M cars with dimensions and everything on my hard drive, and what happens to be right next to it? That's right, a high quality one of a Harris, which I'd completely forgotten about and would have been extremely helpful if I had found it when designing my one. Oh well, what can you do? Before I knew it, I was adding the final details to the design, those being the pantograph and the undercarriage. The pantograph itself is copied from my extrapolis, and the base is relatively simple, but I do want to redesign the base with smaller and more detailed parts. The bogies are based on one of the bogies from the Alstom Comeng, Nor or something, which doesn't match the cab, but honestly these were hard enough because of the odd wheel spacing needed to match the scale, so go cry about it. The rest of the undercarriage was anything but simple to design, with the scarce amount of detailed pictures of the real thing, but a number of YouTube videos of commenters at level crossings fixed that, and I managed to get something half decent. And that brings us to now, right here, this second currently, as you're watching this. Besides the fact that the way I've done the cab windows makes it look like it's tired, kind of like me right now, I'm very pleased with the design. Yes, the doors are once again not available in this shade of blue. My one dream now is to get the funds to build it, is it too old to start Patreon? But I've just spent way too much getting the pieces for what is hopefully my last modification to my B class, which I will be sharing as soon as it all arrives, so it's going to be a while before this becomes a physical construction. Designing this has been a lengthy process full of learning curves and Lego curves, and I have no intention to stop designing more models. I have so many complete and incomplete projects and ideas lined up that I want to share with all of you, but I do have a limited amount of time, so picking one and doing it justice is difficult. 
Before I go, I want to say a big thanks to Tazzy for providing endless amounts of helpful reference pictures in the recent weeks. A link to his stuff will be in the description. And with that, thank you for watching this far and appreciating my work. See you next time.